and welcome back and today we are looking for lots of scales well just three so I first need to move this rock out of the way wait how's everyone else getting to this area with that rock in the way maybe they're climbing over it I don't know hey what a bit of a jerk he's just sitting there going ooh that's a pretty chest I like that chest how do you slam him from behind Besides, sirs, that was very technically unwise. You should have, like, backstabbed him when he was looking, not shoveled and started to fight. Now, one thing that's kind of cool in this game, when creatures are near death, they actually start acting all exhausted, like bending over and panting and stuff. So you get that visual cues, actually, as to when you have creatures near death. It's like... You see here, both of those guys are pretty all happy and shiny and bouncy bouncy. There we are. Now that one on the right is visibly, uh, leaning over in pants. I rather like that. I think the first time I really started to see that on a regular basis was in the PS generation. They had so much additional space and memory and storage. I make a lot. Alright. Some more minor boosts. Now, not to be a major spoiler here, but right after you... There are three uh, dragons here that you can get the scales from. And we have gotten hints on how to successfully get to and hunt each of the three. That one's running away. We'll get him. But once, as soon as you beat the third one, in that battle, an event happens. So, and after that one, we get our first star. So if you want to try to get some more minor bonuses and all that, save at least one of the Komodos until you're ready to actually move on. They give you the uh, list of what counters what element wise, but black and white are opposed, as are red and blue. Green and yellow are also opposed. Let's go ahead and show a photon ray. Bye. Yeah, so yeah, shooting my lasers, blah blah blah. Lots of ways to damage you with light. Okay. I thought I heard a cat. Huh. Okay. Now, how we get the first one, I forget exactly how he phrased each of those hints. I think one was about, like, finding a good vantage point. Oh. Um, come on. is we, in order to successfully uh, fight any of the three, you have to be able to get up close and personal. And the first one, as soon as we're done here, we're going to try to position ourselves to land on their head. species just a known type of dog like talking species or do dogs just regularly talk in this world <coughs> all right and Poshul's the only one getting the minor boosts right now all right now we're gonna run up here and I will admit after I beat this guy one minute I 
equipped since I'm skipping a lot of these battles, I may start doing that. But definitely the uh, boss battles I will always show. Sliding their bellies. She's cool. I was actually trying to uh, put an element and finish this off quickly. say I will admit this one down here I am using the save state and if need be I will restore it or else we will potentially see oh, oh, got it for a try never mind he said we land on its head and that somehow doesn't kill it but besides, it wants to fight us. So I should react to it. I mean, I don't know, but ever notice just how much of a jerk the main character is in so many games? I'm gonna wander in a house, take all your stuff, jump on the little creature's head, make my girlfriend leap. And again, Serge is a teenager. So some sorts of behavior like that's understandable. I mean, as a teenager, I was always walking through town, beating strangers over the head, to take their gold coins, or, or not. Uh, I would have been, but I'm fatally allergic to jail. Actually, just appear to me. As I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I'm such a twit. I beat the guy guarding the chest, and I never actually equipped it. Uh, a lot of these things are weak to fire. And put a fireball in her two slot. And let's go ahead and fight this other Komodo. It always flees through the uh, this little bit. So we're just going to trap it. Or not pit this. Yeah. Tunnel. Now there are a number of uh, secrets and different things we can get at in here. Might not grab all of them before we take out the last scale, but if I remember right, we can get them afterwards. So I'm hoping to just be about to start the boss fight in this realm when this episode ends.
That is such a, such a cool bouncy chicken thing. I like that. Sorry, I'm not quite sure what all few words to say about here. Quickly take them all out. Now, it looks like we've gotten two of the uh, three Komodo scales. The boss fight occurs right after you beat the third one. There is no refresh, there's no rest, so any elements you've used in, against the uh, baby Komodo, you will not have with the boss. So just a general heads up. It's a good idea to not waste any of those elements. Now this guy is the one that likes to play tag. Pretty much it's going to run endlessly in circles, and if you screw up like that there, or that there, you lose lots of valuable time. Pretty much you have to circle around more or less perfectly a few times, and you eventually catch up to him. And last time I did this, you got it almost no time at all. This time around. All right. That there are a few other hidden items on this beach we will explore and get next time after we beat the boss. Just gonna go ahead and try to get to the boss real quick. Ah, uh, sorry. It's not just that it's a talking dog. I love just how it's this whole floopy bunny thing, which I'm probably going to be... I can see it now. Episode 75. I know I've mentioned this before, but partial pure bounces around a lot. And there's the boss. Uh, apparently that's what a full-grown Mother Komodo dragon looks like. And she's a little annoyed we've been beating up her kids. We'll deal with her next time. 